welcome back to AM Live, and I'm here with Mr. Anderson. And David, welcome to Amador County, number Thank you. one. He lives in Pine Groovy, and it's gonna, and he's going to have a wonderful time up here with all of us. Okay, first of all, it's not bonsai like I say it. How is it pronounced? Bonsai. Bonsai. And the literal translation is tray tree, a tree or a shrub growing on a tray or in a pot. Oh, I'll be darned. I didn't know that. So, hmm. that's the literal. And bonsai is a style. It is not a particular variety of plant. Right, because you can use anything from rosemary to pine to juniper, uh, yeah. even miniature little tree. Correct. Any woody shrub or tree makes a good bonsai. Uh, unfortunately, the movie Karate Kid gave everybody the impression that a bonsai had to be a a Japanese garden juniper. Uh huh. Well, that is not the case. That is just one variety that well, shame is on them. well used for bonsai. I'm telling you. So tell me something about this beautiful tree. This is a fruiting quince that I dug up six years ago as wow. a sucker in a quince orchard. The pot that it is growing in, I made in high school. Oh, for Pete's sake. So the uh, plant is sitting on a stand which is traditionally used for a big show or display. Mm -hmm. And the stands are art pieces as well as the bonsais are. They are. They're beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful. Now, David, let me ask you, these two are not in bloom. And is there, there some reason for that? They are dormant. This is their dormant season. Those uh -huh. are American elms, and they have not popped out yet. I see one They one are beginning leaf. to show some new leaf growth. Right. But it's very small at the moment. About another week, they'll be full of small green leaves. How beautiful. This is, is this a mungo pine? This is a black pine. A black pine, okay. This is a Japanese black pine, and this one I brought in particular to show the wire, which is yes. used to shape the tree. By applying the wire, we can change the shape of the limb any ah, way we wish. I see. So this is one method of shaping a tree, by applying wire. You have to be careful on wire. You can't leave it too long or it will scar the trunk. Right. These are details that we get into in our club meetings, which are coming up this Saturday at the Senior Center. Wonderful. At 9 a.m. And we are having a special guest speaker. She has studied in Japan, is well-known bonsai artist, mm. has many trees in the Northern California bonsai collection in Oakland. Oh, and wonderful. And is very, very well-known. And it's Joan Scruggs, and she will be our special guest speaker. Her subject will be air layering. And air layering is producing a root system on the trunk of the tree while it is still up in the air. Oh, okay. I won't get into any more detail because that's what Joan's going to talk about on oh, Saturday. Okay. But and, and what time? At, it starts at 9 o'clock okay, at great. the Senior Center. At the center. Senior Center. Now, this is, this is what we, we typically see many, many times. Right. This is correct? an imported tree from Japan that is a white pine grafted to a black pine rootstock. Wow. And that's a very old tree because it is imported. I don't know its exact age. But you can estimate by the fact that they grow about a half inch a year. My goodness. And you have wire just at the end. Wire is just at the end. That's in at the training process. And that is the youngest part of the tree. It still needs to be shaped and trained. Now, am, am I correct in, 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 in uh, assuming that some of these trees are like 50, 60 years old? That is correct. That is young for a bonsai. Yes, because I know that um, I love covering at the county fair when they have the the um, the, the exhibition of mm -hmm. all of the different uh, plants they're they're just breathtaking oh yes and and this is not something that you put in the corner and walk away and it'll take care of itself no. this is a baby you have to take care of it daily practically this is more of a pet than a potted plant yes that's for sure it needs attention needs water needs care and you have to be wanting to go out and take care of it if you don't you shouldn't try to have one. Right. Give it, give it to somebody who will take care of it. And now, do you have to water or mist every day? In the warmer weather, you water or mist every day. In mm -hmm. the cooler weather, like we have right now, I've been able to water every three to four days, and it's fine. Great. I do want to emphasize, these are outdoor plants. These are not house plants. Uh-huh. You may keep them in the house for two to three days, max. 
then they are going to start to suffer. So they have to be in the elements. In the elements, correct. Okay, very, very good. Now, do you, I see that some of the plants have moss. Do you put the moss in there, or does it naturally develop? Because the moss, mass ke moss keeps the moist, am I correct? Moss naturally develops. In some cases, I literally have to remove the moss. This tree had moss growing in this crevice. <clears throat> you can tell. I had to take a wire brush and brush it out of there. Wow. Because it's not good for the trunk right. to be covered just, with just, moss. Just on the just dish. Just the soil area. Just the Correct. soil area. What what would you what would you say to somebody who says, "Okay, I want to get into this." Okay, I would say come to our bonsai meeting. Right. Start to learn and decide if it's something you really want to do or not. Start with something small. Do not go to the roadside and pay $140 for a tree you're going to take home and kill. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's not going to work out that well. If you start with something small and learn and progress, then you can get to the bigger trees. And, and we also want to emphasize, too, that if, if you do have a plant or two, and for some reason you're, you're not able to take care of it or you want to get rid of it, they can call somebody from the... Right. The Bonsai Society, we have raffle tables at every meeting. Great. And donations would be gladly accepted. Very good. Very good. I'm glad. So once again, it's going to be uh, this Saturday at the Senior, Senior Center. Center. Correct. And it's going, you're going to have a guest speaker there. A guest speaker, yes. That's going to tell you about air. Air layering. Yeah, I think that's, that's so. interesting. So that means that when the tree is straight up before you start doing anything. Now... Is the, is this how how maybe es, what do they call it? espalier? What okay, the, espalier is a form of topiary, right? Which is another form of training, and it's a formal or geometric training. Which is beautiful. It is beautiful. It's this form of training is informal, emulating an old ancient tree. Mm -hmm. uh, it's basically this is a living sculptor. They have to be continually shaped, pruned, and trained. They are never finished. We have a saying in our bonsai club, the only finished bonsai is a dead bonsai. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, I would, I would say so. What one plant would you suggest for a starter? For a starter, the elms or the maples work okay. very well for starters. Okay. They are very tolerant of going dry and easy to work with. What is the most unusual plant that you've ever, that you've ever come in contact or have ever seen that, that was uh, done in this beautiful form? Probably fruit trees with fruit hanging on them. Oh, for Pete's sake. I've seen pears with pears hanging on them and figs with figs actually on the branches. And it was very, very interesting. Wow. Okay. Senior Center this Saturday. Get there and learn all about these beautiful plants. And if you have a plant or whatever you can't take care of, please bring it, right? Oh, and, yes. And give it, give it to someone. If you don't want to donate it, we'll help you learn how to take care of it. Absolutely, because this is so. a beautiful form of art. So. And so we want to, we want to stress that, that uh, that's the way it is. Hyundai. Correct. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to come back and wrap it up for you. Thank you. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.